living. Utilizing today's technology with the best of the past to bring you innovative ideas and up-to-date information for creative lifestyles in today's active world. With your host, Cheryl Borden. Thank you so much for being here. I don't get the honor of having two guests on very often, so it's really a pleasure to have both of you. And, of course, your business is called Two Mothers Food, so we have to have two mothers, right? Yes. <laughs> well, it's nice to have you here. Nikki, let me start with you. Um, lots of people uh, are into catering and food preparation, but your business came about in a very unusual way. Would you tell us about it? Yes. Christy and I were both um, parents at a local school that ordered some lunches from other um, restaurants like a pizza on Wednesdays, and we noticed that our, our children became sick every Thursday from <laughs> conventional pizza, really cold symptoms. So we said to ourselves, let's make pizza for the school oh. out of organic ingredients and grass-fed cheese and make it so that the children don't get sick. And then we also combined with that, we didn't want to see 100 car, um, napkins, paper plates, forks um, in the about 10 giant cardboard boxes that are left after ordering Waste. pizza. So uh -huh. we decided to try to make a waste-free, organic, delicious pizza for our children's school. And so we started with that, about 100 people ate the pizza, and they just grew very quickly into a food program of five days a week um, with no waste. So we, That is amazing. Yeah, it was a very and fun way to start. When you said after your children got sick, I thought you were going to say, so we started sending lunches with our kids, but you said, oh, no, we start feeding the whole school. Yes. That's impressive. <laughs> Well, Christy, you have four children, I believe, yes. and, and uh, uh, Nikki has a couple. So you, you sort of, do you ever experiment on these recipes at home with your own kids? Yes. Uh, our children, they have a wide range of uh, <laughs> food preferences, and they're very flexible. They, they don't mind their pigs. experimentation. <laughs> yep. So, um, yeah, we, we serve them all sorts of things. And well, the, like what, the recipe you're going to prepare today is actually something you could send as a lunch or have mm -hmm. as a lunch for the kids. So if you'll go ahead and start on it sure. and tell us what you're doing. Okay, we're going to make a gluten-free samosa. So mm -hmm. a samosa. Everybody could eat it. Mm -hmm. Right, it's very healthy and um, it's a vegetarian appetizer, something like an egg roll. And it's a take on a traditional Indian food. So, mm -hmm. it, But we use a rice wrapper instead of a wheat pastry mm -hmm. uh, And dough. rather than frying it, we, we actually just bake it. And so you're going to soften it right now? First we just soften it in some uh, lukewarm water, and this will just take about, you know, uh, 10 to 12 seconds. Oh, and then okay. we're going to stuff it with a filling of boiled potatoes that we boiled in, the, in their skins and then uh, remove the skins. Oh, so you don't lose any of those nutrients, do right. you? Right. Okay. And then this looks like carrots? These are carrots that mm -hmm. we sautéed in grapeseed oil with a little mm -hmm. salt and some onions that we also... Sauteed mm -hmm. and some organic green sweet peas and the seasonings we're going to use is uh, traditional curry powder, ground coriander, and uh, pink salt. Pink salt. Yeah. Okay, this some of these may be new terms for some of us, but so every day you cook for a hundred people or more. Or more. Now now we're up to three schools, so and, and we're about to add a fourth. Uh -huh. um, so it's really much more than that. On some, each school doesn't order five days a week, so some days we have about um, have a break. <laughs> yeah, some days we have a really big day, uh -huh. and some days we have a break. But we're also open as a carryout uh -huh. restaurant. And that came along later. But you started with the school lunches. That's where you really saw the need for this. Yes, and that's where we got our with our own school. We got the opportunity to try out all mm -hmm. kinds of different serving methods until we finally got to our tins. Were your kids real proud that their mothers were? They doing were, this? They were real excited. We were the lunch ladies walking lunch around ladies. and we served <laughs> too. Um, in the beginning, the first two years, we actually served uh -huh. at the school as well. And our well. kids were mm -hmm. still young enough to not be embarrassed. They, and they right, were happy have their to moms there. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, so you've got the rice so, paper yes, softened. We've and softened it's this. Pliable and, now. And this wrapper is great for any sort of filling. You can do a sweet or a savory or any different international type. You know, we do mm -hmm. a, a Asian inspired at our small restaurant. Uh, with the different vegetables and and these soy are just ginger. kind of mashed up. You didn't really mash them. I mean, they're just broken. I basically pieces. crumble them with Crumbled. my hand after oh. they're cooked and you know cool enough to touch. Uh huh. We add a little bit of the carrots. All of these, the carrots, onions, and potatoes were all grown probably within 30 miles of our store by farmers that we know and work with regularly. And no preservatives. These everything you can, you try to get organic we, as much as you can. Much even 
more than organic, we go for close. Close. So we uh -huh. have farmers that are within, I mean, most of our farmers are within um, 30 miles of the store. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we have a nice circle. And you do a trade out with these farmers, don't you? Yes, we sometimes we trade them food for, we two farmers got married recently and so we, <laughs> we were able to trade them some of the food we did for their wedding. Good idea. And You're adding the, the spices now the that spices, you mentioned. Uh -huh. That's ground coriander and curry powder. You can also add cayenne pepper if you like it a little more uh -huh. spicy. This is unbleached salt and it tastes shockingly different than regular salt. And it's called it's, pink salt? It's called pink salt or sea salt. Oh, sea salt. Um, uh -huh. But it's, it's, it's an unbleached salt and it, hmm. once you start using it, it's funny how regular salt doesn't uh -huh. quite do the trick anymore. Mm -hmm. It really adds a great dimension to the cooking. It's all we use for uh -huh. our program. And do you work with local nutritionists to come up with um, recipes or do you experiment and study yourselves? Since we're trying to combine the local with what we're doing with clean food, um, we kind of start with our farmers and what kind of harvests what we're going to get. The season. And mm -hmm. it's hard to work with the outside person when, you know, we just kind of look at what, yep. what the harvest is going to be or what failed this year. Um, <laughs> yeah. Onions failed this year. Tomatoes failed pretty pretty badly this year, so we have mm -hmm. less of that. And well, we makes might, your menu more varied as our well. Our menu is very flexible, and uh -huh. it has to be flexible because of depending on truly local food. What do, what do you hear from kids? Kids love our food. Um, one, a funny thing that's interesting is that one of the favorite foods of our soup program at schools is lentil soup. Really? Which you just wouldn't think that no, kids uh -uh. would ever like lentil mm -hmm. soup, no. and it's it's that's really the favorite besides chicken noodle. That's the favorite. Oh, that's the favorite. Yeah. So and now you're going love, to wrap this up. Now we're going to Ooh, just kind of push this. That's why you have to soak it so that it's right pliable. Thank you, Nikki. We're gonna fold the edges like that. Makes a little pocket. And then keep it just. So you prefer like, this like over egg. like a tortilla? This is very uh, healthy for everybody. This rice wrapper is uh -huh. a good alternative to any wheat product. And oh, you okay. know, it has a, a very bland, bland taste, so you can mm -hmm. make any sort of filling. Then you to would go in at that, like you said, it could be a dessert or it could be the main dish. So, right. Nikki, you're going to show um, maybe what it looks like inside. Yes. This is and how long does this cook? You would um, brush this with some grapeseed oil, and then you would bake it on a 425-degree oven for about seven to nine minutes. It's just mostly to warm it because everything's pre-cooked, right? So, yes, mm -hmm. to crisp it up. And uh -huh. It's very similar to an egg roll oh, that or looks spring so roll. good. Yeah. We, we actually do hearty. this in egg roll stuffing uh -huh. for this as well. Mm -hmm. And what's the... what's how it fits into clean food is wheat is not a clean food. It's kind of a complicator of allergies, and it's an inflammation mm -hmm. food. And like and you said, this is gluten-free, so right. everybody can that. eat mm -hmm. this. Uh -huh. Everyone can eat it. And then the other difference is a normal samosa is a deep-fried Oh, product. so we're not so frying. We're not uh, frying. Uh, it's, more, it's more healthy for us. Yes. Right. Okay, now this, I have to ask you to show this. It's called a tiffin, and I, when I received your paperwork, I thought, I wonder if she meant muffin. <laughs> I thought perhaps it was a mistype. I wasn't familiar with this. And this is what you package these in, which mm -hmm. keeps, like you mentioned, all those pizza boxes from going to waste. Right. And we can put uh, for our school program, for example, pasta primavera and a salad and have a all whole in lunch the same one. for so one uh -huh. child. Yeah. Get this, and then they bring their tin home. Their mom cleans it. They turn it back in. And do you have good cooperation? We, we haven't lost a lot. <laughs> where um, that's part of part of growing this way is learning how to handle those different uh -huh. things, and so you're you're asking the same questions we are and trying to figure I out bet. how to sign them out. And well, stay in organized. in the two years you've been in business, tell me again how much waste we have made two regular garbage can size what thirty gallon two thirty gallon garbage cans, and that's and, all. And that's all in two years. Um, might be a little less than that. Um, we have a tiny garbage can the size of an office garbage can uh -huh. that we empty once a week. Because it's stinky, mm -hmm. not because it's full. Mm -hmm. So, and we are on an on-call basis with the garbage company. They come and they tip our dumpster, it's and not full, two bags so. fall down. Mm -hmm. Ting! This giant <laughs> diesel truck 
lifting up this dumpster that we're required to have because we're a restaurant just dumps these tiny little amounts in it. That is amazing. We're very proud of it. And, and people everywhere are talking about, well, recycling, but also the s sustainability and, and how to cut back on waste, which would avoid the recycling then mm -hmm. if we can cut back on it. So you really have taken a bold leap. Yes. Well, thank you both very much thank for being with me today. Thank you. Thank you for having us.